Have you ever felt like life is passing you by? Let's slow down and appreciate the little things that make life worth living. From the warmth of a friendship to the beauty of nature, join me on a journey to discover the simple joys that connect us all. In this video, we'll explore the transformative power of gratitude. We'll look at real-life examples of people who have changed their lives by focusing on the positive aspects of their experiences. In a small, peaceful village nestled among rolling hills and vast meadows, there lived a humble elder named Rami. He was known throughout the village for his wisdom, kindness, and deep understanding of life's true purpose. People often came to him seeking guidance and solace, especially during challenging times. Rami believed that life was not about material wealth or social status, but about finding peace, contentment, and meaning in the simple joys that life offered. One day, a group of villagers, who had all been close friends since childhood, decided to have a reunion. They had all grown up in the same village, but life had taken them on different paths. Some had moved to the bustling cities nearby, while others had ventured even further away, chasing their dreams and ambitions. The friends had not seen each other in years, and they thought it would be a wonderful idea to come together once more and reconnect with their roots. They decided to surprise Rami by holding their gathering at his home, where they had all spent many hours in their youth listening to his stories and learning from his wisdom. They coordinated their visit and, on a bright sunny day, they made their way to his modest abode, which sat at the edge of the village, surrounded by fields of wildflowers. Rami was delighted to see them. His face lit up with joy as he welcomed each of them with a warm embrace. It was a moment of great happiness, not only for him, but for all the friends who were seeing each other after such a long time. They sat around in a circle, sharing stories of their lives since they had last met. Some had become successful entrepreneurs, while others had climbed the corporate ladder to reach high-ranking positions. A few had dedicated their lives to their families and communities, while others had pursued artistic or spiritual paths. Each had their own story, their own journey, and their own achievements to share. As they spoke, the conversation gradually shifted from joyful reminiscing to the stresses and strains of their current lives. They talked about the pressures of their jobs, the challenges of balancing work and family, and the never-ending pursuit of success. The weight of their responsibilities seemed to press heavily upon their shoulders, and their animated faces grew more serious and contemplative as they shared their struggles. Seeing this, Rami quietly excused himself and went inside his home. He knew his friends needed more than just a listening ear. They needed a reminder of what truly mattered in life. He went to the kitchen and began preparing a pot of herbal tea, a soothing blend that he often made from the herbs he grew in his garden. He carefully selected the best herbs, letting their aromas mix in a way that promised comfort and calm. After a short while, Rami's granddaughter, a bright and cheerful young girl named Anra, appeared carrying a tray filled with cups of different sizes, shapes, and materials. Some were made of simple clay, others of fine porcelain. Some were elaborately decorated, while others were plain and unassuming. The cups reflected the diversity of the world itself, each unique in its own way. As she set the tray down before the friends, they instinctively reached for the most beautiful cups. Those with intricate designs, golden rims, and delicate craftsmanship, the plain, simple cups were left untouched, sitting quietly on the tray. Once everyone had taken a cup, Rami poured the fragrant tea, filling each cup with the warm, amber liquid. After everyone had taken a sip and settled into their seats, Rami spoke softly, his eyes twinkling with wisdom. I see that all of you chose the most beautiful cups, he said with a gentle smile. It is only natural to want the best for ourselves. But I want you to think about something. Did the choice of the cup make any difference to the taste of the tea you're drinking? The friends looked at each other, a bit puzzled, and then back at Remy. The tea tastes the same no matter what cup it's in, one of them finally answered. Rami nodded. Exactly. The tea inside the cup is what truly matters. The cup is just a vessel, a container that holds the tea, but it does not change its essence. In life, we often focus on the cups, the status, the wealth, the appearance, and the approval of others. We strive for the finest cups, thinking that they will make our lives richer or more fulfilling. But what truly matters is the tea, 
the essence of our lives, our experiences, our relationships, and our inner peace. The cup might be beautiful or plain, expensive or simple, but it does not change the quality of the tea. The friends listened intently, realizing the depth of Rami's words. He continued, When we become too focused on the cups, we forget to enjoy the tea. We get caught up in the pursuit of material success and external validation, believing that these things will bring us happiness. But true fulfillment comes not from the cup, but from appreciating and savoring the tea. It's about finding contentment in the present moment, in the simple joys of life, and in the relationships that bring us true happiness. The friends sat in silence, each reflecting on their own lives and the choices they had made. They thought about the times they had chased after success, wealth, or recognition, only to find that these pursuits often left them feeling empty and unfulfilled. They realized that they had been so focused on the external aspects of life that they had overlooked the simple pleasures, the warmth of a loving embrace, the joy of a shared laugh, the beauty of a sunset, or the comfort of a quiet moment with a friend. Rami smiled as he saw the understanding dawn on their faces. Life is like this tea, he said. It is meant to be savored, not rushed. It is meant to be shared, not hoarded. And it is meant to be enjoyed, not wasted on trivial pursuits. The type of cup you have does not define you, nor does it determine your worth. What truly matters is how you choose to live your life, how you treat others, and how you find joy in the simple things. Anara, who had been quietly listening, spoke up. Grandfather always says that the key to a happy life is not in having the best of everything, but in making the best of everything we have. Her innocent words resonated deeply with the friends, reminding them of the simple truths they had once known but had somehow forgotten in the hustle and bustle of their adult lives. They looked at their old mentor with newfound respect and gratitude. They realized that the greatest lesson they could learn from him was not about success or achievement, but about finding peace and happiness within themselves. They thanked Rami for his wisdom and promised to carry his words with them as they continued on their own journeys. As the sun began to set, casting a warm golden glow over the village, the friends said their goodbyes. They left Rami's home with lighter hearts and a deeper understanding of what it meant to truly live. They had come seeking reunion and reconnection, but they were leaving with something much more valuable, a renewed sense of purpose and a reminder of life's true essence. From that day on, they made a conscious effort to focus less on the cups and more on the tea. They sought to find joy in the present, to appreciate the beauty of each moment, and to cherish the relationships that added meaning to their lives. And in doing so, they found that their lives became richer, fuller, and more fulfilling than they had ever imagined. Rami's words echoed in their minds, a gentle reminder to live mindfully and to savor the essence of life. For they had learned that true wealth was not in the accumulation of things, but in the appreciation of the simple, beautiful moments that made life worth living. And so the simple story of a wise elder and a pot of tea became a cherished memory for the friends, a guiding light that would lead them back to the path of true fulfillment whenever they found themselves lost in the pursuit of worldly desires. As the years went by, the lesson of the tea and the cups remained a cornerstone in their lives. The friends continued to meet regularly, gathering in the village to share their experiences and reflect on the paths they had chosen. With each meeting, they found themselves more attuned to the deeper, more meaningful aspects of their lives. They began to notice the small, fleeting moments that brought true happiness, like the laughter of their children the warmth of the sun on their faces, or the beauty of a quiet evening under the stars. They realized that the most profound joys came from within, from their ability to appreciate life's simple pleasures rather than chase after the next big achievement or acquisition. Each friend became a source of support and wisdom for the others, helping to remind one another of Rami's teachings whenever they found themselves slipping back into old habits of stress and desire for more. Rami, now older and a bit frailer, watched with contentment as his friends flourished in this new chapter of their lives. He continued to impart his wisdom to the younger generations, ensuring that the simple yet profound lesson of the tea would be passed down. In his quiet way, Rami had planted a seed that would grow and blossom in the hearts of all who had the privilege of knowing him. And in the quiet corners of the village surrounded by the hills and meadows, 
His legacy of peace and mindfulness continued to thrive, a testament to the power of living a life centered on what truly matters. As Rami's time on earth slowly waned, he found solace in seeing his village flourish with a renewed sense of purpose and joy. The villagers had learned to live with gratitude, embracing the beauty of the ordinary and finding fulfillment in their everyday lives. They no longer sought happiness in faraway dreams or unattainable goals, but discovered it right where they were, in their homes, in their friendships, and in their hearts. Rami's simple teachings had transformed the village into a community of love, respect, and understanding, where everyone supported each other and cherished the moments that truly mattered. As the seasons changed and the years passed, Rami's legacy lived on, not in grand monuments or written words, but in the hearts of those who had learned to live fully, drink deeply from the cup of life, and savor its essence with every breath. The story revolves around a wise elder named Rami and his reunion with a group of childhood friends. During their gathering, the friends discuss their lives and the challenges they face. Rami, through a parable about tea and cups, teaches them a valuable lesson about finding true fulfillment in life. Deeper meaning, the pursuit of happiness. The story critiques the common misconception that material wealth and social status are the keys to happiness. The importance of mindfulness. Rami emphasizes the value of living in the present moment and appreciating the simple joys of life. The power of relationships. The story highlights the significance of human connection and the role of friends and family in our lives. Life lessons. True happiness comes from within. Material possessions and external validation do not guarantee happiness. Focus on the present moment. Appreciate the beauty of the present and avoid dwelling on the past or future. Cherish relationships. Invest time and energy in building strong relationships with loved ones. The simple things in life are often the most meaningful. Find joy in everyday experiences and small pleasures. Life is a journey, not a destination. Focus on the process of living rather than solely on achieving goals.